Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor! Today, I need to return to Zuzo Castle, not only to, uh, oh, not only to buy some leather armor, but I also want to pick up Lee Ru at the headquarters there. Unfortunately, that is still the only place where we can do that. But eventually there will be other castles or towns where they have some of those amenities like Zuzo has. Just that early on they don't have very many of those or very many different locations where they would have those things. Unfortunately, since I did get uh, Hazong for free, I don't need to buy another steed. So that's pretty nice. If I needed to use one to recruit him before, I would have already returned to Zuzhou to buy another one. Fortunately, yeah, things worked out pretty well with uh, Hazyong there. But uh, okay, so now, let's see. I want to get rid of Huo Hu and Young Jin. Let me just see if they got an... Nope, oh, no items left. We should be good then. So I'll just drop both of them off. And I'll just leave them there for now so I don't run into them in a random battle, potentially. Okay, and then I need to bring out Liru as my new tactician. One thing you can do at the headquarters here when you remove a party member and add a new one in, if one of them had some items on them or in their inventory when you drop them off there, if you bring in a new party member immediately after that, they will have all the items of the previous one. So that's pretty nice. So it's a way you can transfer your items more easily there. Oh, you don't have it. Uh, I think I gave the robe to Guanping. Yes, okay. Yeah, let's sell that one then. So yeah, unfortunately, there's just no way to do that between two characters on the field, transferring all the items at once there. Now nah, it doesn't work that way there. That's also how Liu Feng got all of the items that Liu Bei had earlier. Oh, uh, no, no, I need to get the leather armor, and that'll be good enough. Yeah, leather armor's got quite a bit of longevity in the early game. As far as how long we'll actually be using that. I mean, eventually we'll get better stuff, but for now, everyone should have an axe, leather armor, and bandana. Okay, and then, yeah, why don't we rest up here before heading out again, and then we'll be heading to Luoyang Castle to take on Dong Zhuo himself. But it's going to be a bit difficult to get through there. Unlike most of, well, actually, I think all of the castle battles we've had up to this point, uh, we gotta go through a few battles in order to get to the castle. They've got quite a bit more fortifications there, both literally and figuratively. So, let's head on back over there then. And fortunately, well, most of the battles around here are pretty easy, but uh, there's one battle there where I got ambushed, and uh, yeah, we took a bit of a beating there, but nothing too extraordinary. How are we doing here? Okay, yeah, I think we're good. So basically, the way I like to handle my party formation, at least for now, is based on the number of soldiers a general has in descending order. But if a couple characters have the same or about the same number of soldiers, like I think there was one in the previous episode, I think it was Yang Jin or something, so, or a couple people had like 247 soldiers, in that case I would arrange order them in descending order of their intelligence for essentially tactics resistance, really. Okay, so now, yeah, we're going to continue to the west here. Get through the fortress, and then it's a straight shot to Luoyang Castle, or almost. The left path is a dead end there. But these guys are going to be a dead end. Quickly enough, anyway. Alright, got him. Now, at this point, 
because I don't really have any dedicated tacticians, or at least party members with a lot of intelligence, Guan Yu is essentially going to be my tactician. Also, or not tactician, but Li Ru is going to be my tactician, but uh, Guan Yu is going to be my general that uses tactics because he actually has a really good amount of intelligence and strength for the damage there. The upper path is a dead end. But, yeah, it's not really tricky to get through here. But, as you can see, there aren't a lot of different types of terrain around here. So, that's partially why I wanted to recruit the generals in the cave. Because their encounter rate is 1 in 16 per step. But, like, the grassy plains here is 1 in 32. But, uh, okay, so you saw over there on the left, they got those... I don't know, I think of them as Palisades over there, and so we've got a, a few battles to get through just to get to the castle. Fortunately though, the castle defense here is relatively light. But uh, okay, so what do we got? Yeah, we're, oh wow, we didn't take very much damage at all. I think we're good to go. For boss time against Li Jue. Okay, so this guy does not have... Or, okay, well, he doesn't have any tactics that I care about. And... Okay, so let's see. Let's reduce all the rebels below a thousand soldiers. So let's see. I think uh, Hua Xiang and or Liu Feng could take care of that. I think I'm just going to leave the rebel force down there alone, maybe? Now, we can uh, start working on them, at least. But I want Guan Yu to use Yehuo on Li Ju, since his intelligence is not so great. So I should be able to have pretty good accuracy against him. And because Guan Yu has nearly max strength, he will deal, yeah, nearly max damage with Yehuo. I think the maximum is 140. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, once we get the rebel forces below 100 soldiers, everyone should just go all out on Li Jui, and we should be good. Mu Feng is also pretty good at using tactics as well, because he has pretty good intelligence. But not so much on the strength compared to Guan Yu. So I like Guan Yu to handle that. Okay, I think Guan Yu could probably one-shot Li Jui, so... Yeah, we'll just have everyone else start working on the rebel forces there. I'm just thinking maybe I should just uh, attack Legia. Yeah, why don't we do that instead? If I didn't get such a good hit off the first Yehuo, I might have... Or what is that? Yeah, I would have used an, a second one. But I do want to kind of hold up... Or, yeah, hold on to as much TP as I can for the later battles. But I can spare, like, one, maybe two... Well, yeah, I can do two times without much of a problem. But yeah, I only want to use, like, one or two uh, Yahoo tactics per battle here. But, all right, we got them. And battle number two, how are we looking? Pretty good on soldiers there. Who's guarding this palisade? For boss time! Against Zirong and Guji. Okay, so for this one... Let's see. Yeah, I think Was Young can take care of that one. For the other guy... Yeah, why don't we have everyone go after them? And then I want Guan Yu to use Yahoo on Zirong there. And we'll knock him out pretty quickly there. Ow! Oh, that's not so bad. But let's see, so, uh, Zhu Rong, yeah, look at the damage. Good thing I got that in there before he used, uh, used that. That's one of the reasons why I like to kill him first. But yeah, he doesn't have an extraordinary amount of intelligence there. So, I'm okay with using that on him, but 
or a Yahoo on him. But now I'm not even gonna bother. I'll just save my uh, TP for later. Everyone else, go after Zurong first. Let's see, Guji only has slightly more strength than Zurong, but he doesn't have any tactics. So I'm not especially worried about him. Let's see, I think uh, Hazyong can uh, finish off Zurong. And then everyone else, go after Guji. I was thinking about maybe finishing off that Rebel Force that's nearly dead there, but no, let's, uh, let's save that one for later. Just go after uh, Guji. Of course, if we could hit the guy, that would make this a lot faster there. What does this guy got then? Oh, he actually does have some tactics. Hmm. I didn't think he did, but nothing I care about. Okay, so... Yeah, yeah, everyone just go... Attack Guji. I constantly have to stop myself from saying go all out in this game. I mean, we are going all out. We're just not using the commands. See, it might not be a bad idea to heal up a little bit before we go into the next battle. But, we'll see. Okay, so Zhang Fei and Guan Yu are okay. Might want to heal up Liu Feng. Let's see, Guan Ping could use a little... Yeah, those two can uh, heal themselves up a bit there. Since I'm not using uh, Yehuo as much here as I do sometimes. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't use tactics outside of battle, like, for healing there. So, yeah, you gotta kind of plan ahead a little bit there. Okay, the rest ought to be pretty easy here. Easy enough? All right. Yeah, so you win a lot of rations from the storyline battles, you'll never run out of food for the remainder of the game. They just give you so much. So don't worry about it. But can we defeat the combined might of Lu Bu and Dong Zhuo himself? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is Ichi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.